So many people will say, okay, I know that musty smell and my house doesn't have that musty smell or the building I work in doesn't have it. Is that a gauge of how to know if we have mold in a home or is that just when it's gotten so extreme? It's a really good question. So a musty smell is a dead giveaway of active mold growth. Now you can have dormant mold that does not emit the gases. So the musty smell is the digested byproduct, just like we produce gas when we digest. Mold produces gas, but it occurs outside of it because the organism digests externally. And so those to the metabolic byproducts products, mold burps, if you will. So naturally, if we're not eating, we're not producing gas, at least most of us aren't. And so same thing with mold. So if it's not producing gas, not producing the smell, that doesn't mean you don't have it. It just means it's not currently growing. But if you smell it, that's a dead giveaway. And so that's an extremely important thing to track down. And the thing you want to track down is the source of the moisture, of course. If you smell that smell, it's not just an aesthetic nuisance. The recent studies around fruit flies, because you can't study people with these things, but they've done really fascinating studies with fruit flies and exposed them to the musty smell. And they stop producing dopamine. They start flying down and set it to the light. They stop reproducing. They develop locomotor dysfunction. Parkinsonian-like symptoms is the way the okay. researchers describe it, as well as mitochondrial damage. So the musty wow. smell is neurotoxic. It's not just an aesthetic nuisance. So it's not just important as a signal, because it is a signal that you got a problem. You got to track down the moisture problem and find the extent of the issue, but it's also a source of illness.